Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking at the unboxing of this Bandai Heavy Arms it's been quite a while since I've built a Bandai kit so and this kit have been lying around for quite some time I bought it last year so yeah, now we of course take a look at this Heavy Arms kit of course it's piloted by Troa Barton I think it's one of the coolest pilot I think it would be second to Hero Yui so yeah, as you can see here, the box art here, this this could be the last kit that came out on this line, this EW line for the Master Grade. So yeah, nonetheless, it's always, it's always looking good. There you can see if it's Beam Gatling, and then you can see the, uh, what do you call that, the military, the knife. So yeah, everything looks good based on the box art at the side, I mean it always does. And then first part here, of course, we we'll take a look with the manual here. But all the time, we put that aside and we we'll take a look at the runners first. So this very first part here, we have the sort of like the cartridge for the um or the what you call it missiles? Yeah, missiles for the at that part. If I'm not mistaken, it should be on the legs. So yeah, and then next here the weapons for the beam gatling. This is the part where I can't wait to build it. If only I might get the I might get the Kao Kao one just to have the two big beam gatling on the heavy arms Gundam. But of course, yeah, we just see first. Next here is the red part of it, is the legs, and then you there's one big piece there on the shield. And then here there's a lot of the missiles, the part inside. So yeah, you need to do lots of um recoloring to the silver color to make it less how I would say less um boring colors like this just plain um sort of gray black like that next here of course is the leg piece here I'm not sure what's I doing there but yeah here is the leg piece and then here I just want to try show you guys is the troa button the mini figure of course and the pilot which I never actually get myself to paint one of those I should I should do some painting in the future once I get a job and I can afford some pins, then yeah, I'll start doing that. And then the final piece, no, there's one more piece at the back, but here it's just like the A part with the stickers and so on. I I think this time around I will put stickers um on the mobile suit just to see how it goes. Since there's one pure one and then there's one more is the water slide decal if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. And then yeah, here is more or less the inner frame for the kit. There's really nothing much to say about that. Which of course you guys would know all about it. Here just the leaks inner frame. And then here more inner frame for the leaks. So yeah, that's it. Then now of course there's nothing left. And then just put back everything inside. Then we'll take a look at the manual next. So based on all the EW kits that I got, the remaining one I haven't get is the I mean if I'm including Bandai and the Kao Kao one, the only one that I haven't got is the Wing Gundam, the Sand Rock and the Death Scythe. Um the Death Scythe I might considering getting the Dragon Momoko one because I've heard good things about it. And the Wing Gundam I'll get the Bandai one since it's transformable. Then the Sandrock one, Sandrock one, I'm still considering whether to get the Kao Kao one or the Bandai one. So we'll see about that. And then, yeah, here basically the met, the start of the menu here. We have some stickers over here. That is the peel off type. So yeah, that's really good. And then here, just show you guys the weapons. Weapons guide, the knife, the military knife, and then the beam gatling with the shield on. And then of course now um since Bandai have actually released the I mean since Tapan have, have actually released the P Tapan, that's what most people call it now, on the Togis tree. I really hope that they release another one P Tapan for the heavy arms because to be honest I do not know why Bandai want to make it P Bandai. It's like they make it the double of the price, which I honestly don't understand why. They could have just make it like maybe if you're putting a price on let's say you want to make a price like around maybe the Hyakushiki price that is still acceptable I mean basically you're just going to take um, this heavy arms kit you're just going to repaint and you're going to duplicate the beam gatlin and then yeah there you have it and plus you have the 
high grade one to one hundred of it, the non grade the non grade one to one hundred for the heavy arms as well. So I don't understand why they want to make it P Bandai. Like seriously, you are you that lack lack of money? Because if you do not make it if you did not make it into P Bandai, I honestly I will just buy the heavy arms custom, but now you make it P Bandai there's no way I will buy it because yeah I mean cash problem since I'm still studying so on and so forth I mean if you're rich then yeah just, um go ahead but yeah but right now I just um wait I and hope that hopefully top I will release a um, copy of this so yeah nonetheless here the final part I just show you guys the color guide so on and so forth so yeah expect this review to come out soon enough uh, maybe in Friday Friday I should be complete um, this kit and do a quick review before my college start and by the way this will be my final semester my course will end in June so yeah I'll be pretty busy but nonetheless um, yeah I hope I can crank out more um, Gunpla reviews and unboxing for you guys so yeah stay tuned to that and if you guys have enjoyed this quick unboxing I uh, hope you guys will drop a like down below and if you guys still have subscribed to me please do not forget to subscribe to me because there will be more Gunpla related stuff and maybe some other anime related stuff. So yeah, until then, I'll see you guys soon and I hope you guys all have a good day and see you soon.